Hey, Ako. How are you? Good, good. Ako, I really need your help. We need everybody to comment on the PEIS. PEIS? Holy tilapia, is that like the ILP? No, no, Ako. PEIS is Programmatic Environmental Impact Statement. What does that mean in English? Every project, like the wind farms, needs to be reviewed for impact, efficiency, and cost. What are the needs? Does the project meet the needs? Are there better or cheaper ways to do it? Does it hurt the people, or the land, or the ocean, or the air? Does it threaten food sources, or water sources, or culture, or historic sites, or plants, or animals, or birds? Is it loud? Does it pollute? Will it make people sick? Is it ugly? Will it drive tourists away? Will planes crash into it? Can it ever be dismantled? What opportunities do we lose if we build it? All these questions and many more have to be answered. Wow, who's answered for this? The federal government. Holy mackerel, I guess somebody in the government is doing their job. And this is only step one. The PEIS is a survey of potential problems. After that comes the EIS, which is a full-blown analysis of the impact of actual projects. P-E-I-S. Didn't we do this before? Yeah, Uncle. Remember? In February of last year? Is that when those dummies want me to stand outside the meeting, chanting and shouting, and when a malu? <laughs> there was a boycott, and that was a big mistake. Everybody should have been inside commenting. We're only getting a second chance at this because of those who did comment, like Life of the Land and Friends of Lanai. Okay, so how do we comment? The first thing is to go to as many scoping meetings as you can. They will be held on September 11th in Honolulu, September 12th in Lihue, Kauai, September 13th in Kona, Hawaii, September 14th in Hilo, Hawaii, September 17th in Kahului, Maui, September 18th on Lanai, September 19th here in Kaunakakai on Molokai, and September 20th in Kaneohe on Oahu. Be prepared to ask questions and speak out. Is this just about big wind? No, no, Uncle. It covers all aspects of energy efficiency. That means conservation, smart grids, even electric cars. It also covers all aspects of renewable energy, solar, wind, wave, biofuels, geothermal, and the undersea cables. So what kinds of comments do they want? Well, you have to break it up. Be specific and refer back to the proposed actions. For example, find a section that relates to land-based, utility-scale wind. Then ask, don't wind turbines make people sick? Aren't the turbines planned for Molokai too close to Mauna Loa? Won't the town have to be evacuated? What about residents who are already sick? Who will compensate the refugees? Where will they go? The more specific questions, the better. Can I get help with my comments? Sure, Uncle. I am will help you. We're going to put up a comment guide on our website and we'll have planning meetings before September. You can also mail or email comments after the meetings and we'll show you how to do that too. Good, good. This is good. I want to tell everybody to speak up. This is our second chance. This time, don't be populi. You're right, Uncle. But it's not just for people in Hawaii. The PEIS will take comments from the mainland and around the world. It's open to everybody. Hawaiians in New York can say, hey, don't destroy my home. Tourists in Japan can say, hey, don't destroy the view. Engineers in China can ask, why are you guys pushing obsolete technology? We need to hear from everyone. You know, I did wear a malo once, back when I was chasing them country ways. But when you're old, I think it doesn't look so good. <laughs>